So if you saw Monday's live stream, you may remember the light brown Galbraith that got away from us down here in the Sun Sisters region, and there were actually two rare turkeys there. There was a light brown hen as well, which we did get. But the Galbraith got away, and I wanted to actually kind of go back and try to get that today. But there's still a bit of hunting pressure down there. We kind of went back on the stream, and he didn't seem to come back to that area. So I'm hoping that if we clear some hunting pressure, kind of hunt around, let him get into his drink time. I have no idea where we hit that, but that was actually pretty cool. Uh, yeah, let him get into his drink time. Uh, hopefully he'll be back there, and we can actually get him. And mainly I just want him for the wall. We have our multi-mount. I'm pretty happy with it. Maybe if we ever get a diamond rare one, it seems like those are fairly common. A lot of people are getting those. If we just keep shooting gobblers, maybe we can get that lucky. But at least for the moment, I'm happy with the albino and the big diamond we have. So I just want to get that for the wall, and in general, for the moment, that's another one of those. Uh, for the moment, we're just going to get respawns. Two, uh max estimate fours with the one rack below a diamond and i believe we got that it's just the 270 is pretty weak on mule deer actually so he's gonna run a bit but i'm actually kind of excited to see where we hit that first one because he dropped like that and maybe that's respawns for an eventual diamond mule deer i'd like to get another one before true racks drop for them but i believe on that second one we saw what a long shot usually looks like on these so that's why i was kind of hyped to drop him so that was a hard shot at 250 meters not a bad way to start this but both of those were blondes as well, which it seems like, I don't know, disproportionately big mule deer seem to be the blonde fur type. So if any of these ever do respawn as a diamond, I hope it's like gray or common or of course a rare, just so it's different than the one we have. And barely, but that was actually a long shot, so not too bad. Very similar score actually with the two of those mule deer, but it's currently, if I can get my hunter mate to actually work. 1418, so we have around an hour in game to kill before that turkey's probably going to be in his drink zone, so we'll probably just kind of head down through here and see what's in this area at this time. I don't usually go here in the afternoon. Well, we have a random turkey that we can, I guess, work on respawns. I was talking about trying to get a eventual diamond rare gobbler. Only way to do that is keep shooting him. I'm going to need more 22 ammo. I'm down to 10 bullets, and that's mostly from shooting at turkeys flying away, because... For some reason, it's just they don't fly in the straight lines as geese and ducks, I guess. So I just can't seem to hit them, and I'd waste so much ammo on them, but I mean, that's the thing. I'm trying to get them, so I'd keep taking shots to get those respawns. There's another. It's the small, like, max estimate level 4 mule deer. I thought I saw that behind the brush when I was going down there. I hope we can land that in there. I can't imagine that could have hit anything but lungs the way he was laying. But, of course, he's going to be out of our spotting range. He's going down, so it must have been, but that's just crazy. I haven't shot that many mule deer up there, so at least I have to think one or two of those was, like, initial spawns. Maybe one's a respawn, but got the turkey for respawns and another mule deer. I really hope we can get another diamond out of that. If there's that many, like, high estimate ones down in here, maybe we'll have a chance at seeing a five one of these days. Are you serious? That's not the same one. Okay, well, I suppose we'll try to get that. You know what? The wind's good. I brought decoys. I'm glad I didn't just take that shot. Let's try to call him in, or even better, let's try to get him to strut. We have to sneak in really close. My experience on getting them to strut without the caller has been, if you can get into like 60 meters, set up decoys, and like not call, if the decoys get their attention and they come in, they seem to strut, so I'm trying to figure out, maybe if we get to there? That's 140 meters, and he is about 200, so maybe. Maybe that'll work. I'm, I'm not sure about going up here. It might be too close. And I'm actually not even sure we can see if we go down to the low end. Let's go up here. We'll really take our time getting in there. I'll place a waypoint on him so I know, like, how far away he is. And let's try to get better screenshots of a strutting one. Apparently there's just two on my map. So I ended up having to call, and I was really hoping maybe when he got right in by the decoys, he might strut for us. But he's just sitting there 20 meters away. It doesn't seem like he's going to. So what I'm probably going to do is just kind of scoot out of the brush so it's not my way a little bit. I'd like him to not be so hidden. That's actually decent. But... I don't think he's going to strut, unfortunately. We had one strut, and it was just for a very short period of time. So, I'm going to go ahead. Just blast him there. 
we'll quickly pick up our decoys. We still have a mule deer to go and get, and it's actually 15-14 in game, so that's the reason I couldn't just sit here and try to get him to strut forever. We gotta get up there to that drink zone and go get the other one, which won't be as big as this one. He's 4.3, which is a decent one, but I mean, potentially we can have two for our trophy lodge. Well, there's gonna be another opportunity for the shotgun. I don't know where he came from, but again, like I was talking about before, other light brown turkeys showed up. Respawns is kind of something I'm trying to get with turkeys, so the more of those we can get, the better. And we shot our mule deer somewhere up here, but I'm sure he ran pretty far. So that's actually the biggest of the three. 435 trophy rating, and he's a couple of kilos heavier, but nice little left lung shot there at 320. I've actually been impressed with the 270. I really never used it that much, but... It's doing quite well. That's actually a max weight four for the elk, so I may go get that still. I want to wait till probably like 1540-ish in game time to fast travel up there, just to make sure like any late starting turkey drink zone, like I'm not sure what time the light brown uses that zone, but just to make sure he's actually going to be there, so we have time to go get this guy still. By the way, I don't know if you guys have experienced this, but the 300 just seems so much louder than it used to be, like it, it's almost painful to shoot. Like the 357 used to be kind of where it was just super, super loud. So I'm curious if something's happened to like my setup or if you guys have noticed that as well where the 300 seems way louder. So if you have kind of thought that it seems louder, let me know in the comments because maybe I can turn something down or I don't know, start using the 338 or whatever because it's really, really loud. But we got him. It is now 1537. So hopefully we can get up there and actually... We didn't do too poorly. We got most of that pressure cleared, so not a bad little four. Let's head up there and see if our turkey's back. Well, I don't think he uses a zone on this side, but that's another max two, which, again, these have the chance to be diamond. And also, like, I just want to get them for respawns for, like, actual level threes. That was a nice little long shot drop him immediately. I didn't even see... This whole herd of mountain goats, but none of them look all that special. But I'm pretty sure the light brown one uses a zone over on that side. And I'm not seeing any white turkeys flying away, so I think that's probably true. And actually, there he is right there, so not too bad. It's actually a couple of respawn gobblers. None that are all that special. But I think we may try that again, although I'm not sure... I want to get him with a shotgun, but I don't think we're going to get him to strut. At least not unless he'll do it with a call, because we're just not going to be able to get that close. But that's actually not too bad. 4.5 is 0.1 away from the diamond requirement. But maybe if we go up around here and then, like, maybe sit in these trees somewhere, we can at least call him in and get him with a shotgun. So actually, it's not working out too badly. He's going to be in here first by far. And we're getting a couple of screenshots, but... Unfortunately, he does not seem to want to strut, but I'm guessing he's going to notice us getting that close. He's still calm, so maybe we can get a really close screenshot. I want that outline to go away. What the? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that was. You're attentive, so I'll just go ahead and get you before you take off, but that was about to be really cool, and then whatever happened there happened, but another rare. Actually, like a nice, proper neck shot. Well, I say rare. More like uncommon, I think. But, I think we'll go ahead and change back to, like, earlier in the morning and just kind of run around in some feed zones again, because we did that for Monday's live stream, and it actually worked out pretty good. We got a piebald uh, Rocky Mountain Elk and some other pretty cool stuff, so I think that's what we're going to do. There's actually a decent number of pronghorn over here, but none of them are that special. And there's this guy that's a little bit closer, so we're probably just going to get him. Because I think it was that hill in front of us that, uh, on the stream we had, I think, maybe two level fours. I thought it was up there. There's some bison, but maybe that wasn't where the pronghorn feed zone was. But we'll take that guy for now. And maybe they're just feeding over the hill or something? I don't think this could be the same herd, because we're pretty far away. But I think, actually, that three is the best one. He's up to 83. So, of course, he's going to actually turn around, but hopefully we got that. He actually turned right back into that, so that'll work. 
But even that best one wasn't quite a gold. He's about one away. But I think we'll probably just keep going down through this way then. Because we didn't come down here on the stream. That's actually not a bad four. 79 to 102 on his max weight estimates. So that is definitely one I want to take out. And maybe we can just get him at this angle. So we'll let our heart rate calm down. And maybe he'll even pick his head up. But actually he did. And that should be just fine at 230. So that'll be our best pronghorn so far. He's definitely not bad. I kind of like the way these curl. I feel like that's a little bit different than this rack usually is, so that's kind of cool. But, yeah, maybe a good respawn for the future. Ooh. That, I think, should make Diamond at 86 to 111. He's got a similar set of horns to the one we killed in multiplayer in yesterday's video, but he might actually have better hooks. I'm not sure. So I want to get in at least to like 200 and we're kind of just ranging behind him right now so he's probably around 200 there and of course he's just going to keep his head down feeding but the 270 shouldn't have any issues just getting him at that range that should be just fine I think he actually might I think he might have like better hooks than the other one we killed so the other one had like really wide horns and like nice cutters but his hooks didn't really curl down at all. That one looked like it actually might have. So he is a diamond, which is pretty much what I thought he'd be right around 99 trophy rating. But he actually doesn't have the hooks like I thought. It's just more curls inwards than anything. But he's definitely unique. Like, this horn kind of curls more around, where this one just sort of goes straight out and has a little bit of a curl at the end. I think that's cool. I like how unique these seem to be, like, from one diamond to the next, but... I almost messed that up. I didn't even look at that. I knew I shot kind of low, but that was close to losing out on a really nice diamond pronghorn. Didn't really expect to be seeing that when we came back here to go look for that turkey today. But on that note, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this hunt up. So I had talked about in yesterday's video kind of removing some of these reindeer and caribou, which were diamond when we got them. But the current like requirement for diamond has actually gone up, and they're below that, so... We're going to go ahead and put our new light brown turkey here. I may take down this Bethides Ibex. We have a bunch of them. And I don't think that was actually a level 5. I want to say that was a 4 diamond. But I'm just not sure like what else to do. I guess we'll do that for now. We'll put the new diamond pronghorn here. I definitely want to have them spread out throughout the lodge. He's actually cool though. I like that. He's definitely not even. Which I didn't get a good look at that in the actual harvest screen, but his left side definitely hooks down more, whereas the right side just sort of curls around. I really like that. But yeah, we'll find some spots for other stuff here. That reindeer actually is high enough, so maybe we'll have to go to another room. Okay, so this is a reindeer which is below the 430. We'll take that down, and this is a diamond red deer, but it's so ugly. Like, I really don't like that rack, so I'm just going to take them both down. We're going to go ahead and put the light brown turkey here. I have another diamond turkey behind us, which I don't really like it up there. So I think we're going to put him opposite. Oh, well, that's actually, I think, my second biggest one. He's 4.69. And then I'm going to put that Bethides Ibex here. I think I actually like that better. We have a lot of diamond whitetail throughout, so maybe some of the lower scoring ones of those get removed as we kind of add stuff. But for now, I'm pretty happy with that. And... A hunt where it was pretty much meant to just go get this guy led to another light brown that was actually higher scoring and another diamond pronghorn, which I really like that horn shape. I think that's cool, but yeah, not too bad. We get to add more stuff to our trophy lodge and Silver Ridge Peaks has been treating us well. Single player, multiplayer, it doesn't seem to matter. We're getting like a lot of cool stuff added, but yeah, that's going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.